understand. What is that boy doing? This young man has a serious disease called muscular dystrophy. Dis... what? <laughs> it's a disease that makes his muscles grow gradually weaker. He's had it all his life. It's the type of disease people are born with, you see. As you can tell, he's fighting against it. Trying to beat it. To overcome it. <laughs> However, no matter how hard he fights, it's a battle he is sure to lose. Our current medical science offers no cure for this disease. His muscles will continue to weaken. In time, he won't even be able to stand up. And then, finally, his lungs and his heart will stop working. However, as I said, that's only currently. Things can always change. You have an amazing opportunity here. Your ability can help him and other people like him who are suffering. It's the simplest thing in the world, and all you have to do is give us your DNA map, okay? Thank you. about that oh right I went to see a Dasaki yesterday that must have I'm
her, but... But it was nothing. I wanted to feel the warmth of someone else's body, that's all. I don't care what you wanted. You can't come crawling into my bed like that. <laughs> so, that's all water under the bridge now. Where are you off to? Well, you know how there's that regional field trip happening at the beginning of September, right? Oh, yeah. I wanted to be prepared for it, so I thought I'd go buy all the sundries I'll need for traveling. What you mean is that you're going shopping for more of the childish stuff that you're so addicted to, despite the fact that our tiny room is already overflowing with fancy-looking knockoffs of famous characters. Did you say something? No, nothing at all. So we get to have a shopping date today, huh? Ugh. Well, it really isn't necessary for you to tag along. I don't mind, though. Now, let me think a moment. What else would be useful for you to have before going on the field trip? Maybe something to stop creepy intruders from sneaking into my bed? You're still angry about that little incident, then? Not at all. Right! Well, I promise I can be helpful in all sorts of ways today. Here's an example. If you're on your way to the mall, allow me to helpfully point out this route as a potential shortcut for you. Now then, after you, sissy. Okay, fine. But if you try to use this as an excuse for groping me, you won't enjoy the consequences. <laughs> oh no, such a thought never crossed my mind. <laughs> wow, it's so cramped and narrow in here. How do you even know about this back alley? It comes with the job. I have every map of the city memorized down to the last nook and cranny. Excuse me. No, go right ahead. Passing people is a little awkward in such tight quarters, huh? True, but fortunately that doesn't happen very often. Uh. Mm. Excuse me. No, go, go right, right ahead. ahead. So, is this like a popular shortcut or something? It's normally not this busy. I don't know what everyone's doing here. <laughs> Honestly, why today of all days? This is... Ah! Whoa, are you okay? Except for this huge pain in my head. What, is something wrong? No, I just thought I saw something stuck under here. An envelope? I think so, but there's no name or address on it. <gasps> what fell out? It's a money card. That's strange. Huh. So you found a money card in the ground, too? Too? We've been receiving lots of reports over the last few days from people who have randomly found money cards all across School District 7. There are now 48 incidents. Oh, it just jumped up to 56. That many? And that's on the low end. I'm sure not everybody reports them. Maybe this is the work of some counterfeiting operation. We thought of that. But all the cards that have been turned into us so far are genuine. Really, Connery? All of them? Uh-huh. Something odd is going on. I don't understand. Why is this the first time I'm hearing anything about this case? Here's the thing. Intentionally destroying or abandoning money is prohibited by law. But money cards are different. They're exempt. So there haven't been any official notices put out. Yes, I see. The amount on the cards varies significantly. Sometimes it's a thousand. Other times, it's 50,000. Each of them was left in a place where there's generally little human traffic. And they were all found inside envelopes. In other words, somebody is obviously spreading these around on purpose. <clears throat> it all seems too involved and organized to be a simple prank. There weren't even any fingerprints on the envelopes or the cards themselves. As you would expect, rumor of the mysterious cards has spread. So there are a ton of people prowling the alleyways looking for treasure. I know what you mean. We saw it in action. It's not just that either. Students are stealing from each other, and some are even getting caught up in nasty fights after stumbling into skill-op territory. We cannot allow this situation to continue. Sorry, sissy. Duty calls. It looks like we'll have to put off our date until another time. Sure. I can go by myself. Don't you worry about it. <gasps> Bye. Doomed to suffer through another lonely day. Thanks for your help. If you don't mind, you could start by searching in this area. Ah, <sighs> now I can take my time and actually enjoy shopping. Hmm. Uh, 
I'm sorry. It's okay, no worries. Aw. It doesn't look like there are any of them here. Oh, that's too bad. I'm starting to think that story was really just a rumor. But someone told me Rit and Class B actually found one. Yeah? I didn't know. Rumors, huh? I, guess we should keep I suppose it's no surprise that Kuroko and I hadn't heard about it then. Uh, uh. Uh. Hmm, maybe this area has already been picked clean. Oh, uh, hello, Satin. Huh? Oh, hey, Misaka. So, what was up with you earlier? You didn't even say hello. Huh? Earlier? Don't act like you don't remember. It was just a little while ago. You were walking in front of Seventh Mist. I called out to you, but you kept walking like I wasn't even there. Sorry. I'm pretty sure that wasn't me you were talking to. What? But I could have sworn I saw the Tokiwa Dai school uniform and everything. I've been with Kuroko and the others until now. Okay, then. Maybe it wasn't you. So, anyway, what exactly were you doing? Chasing down a rumor of abandoned money cards by any chance? <gasps> you know about that? <laughs> Ta-da! That's amazing. I know, pretty impressive, huh? I seem to have a really keen nose when it comes to rumors. Yeah, so I can see. Right. We need to go check over here next. Uh, but I need to do some shopping. Just come on already. Full school curfew is approaching. All students, please return home immediately. Full school uh, Aw, it's evening oh, already. Goodness. Time Please flies, huh? Immediately. Here, you should have your share of the day's take. Great, thank you. Uh, no, I can't. Those should really be turned in. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. I'll hand them over to Uiharu later on. I wanted to ask you, hmm? have you by chance heard any rumors about who's responsible for distributing those cards? Huh, now that you mention it, I haven't heard anything. Hmm. Well, I'll see you later. We can bring Yuli Haru next time, too. Yeah, sure. All right, bye. Have a good one, bye. Oh, man. I ended up wasting the entire day on that. I didn't get any shopping done at all. Telling you, it's true. <sighs> I was going into an alley in Block E to take a leak. I saw some chick carefully set down an envelope there, so I followed her. Yeah, and? Well, I saw her go into a multi-tenant building in Block C. That must be her base. That's it? Just the one girl? She's gotta have somebody with her. Nah, I made sure of it. The sweet girly is all by herself. <laughs> Let's check it out, then. So you're sure that she's alone? I staked the place out. That is some work ethic, man. I haven't heard anything this good in a while, huh? <laughs> hey, Kuroko? Yeah, it's me. Listen. I need a little favor. Oh, good, you're back. Are you all done with the count? Yep. Today's total is 73 incidents. It gets higher and higher each day, huh? So why isn't Shirai here? Uh, apparently something important came up and she had to take off. Oh, yeah? Well, if you need me, I'll be eating. Eating. Yes, hello? Oh, hey, Satin. Huh? Oh, really? You found one of the money cards, too? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Tomorrow or whenever. Oh, one other thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No problem. You just need me to hang out with Haraway until you get back, right? Thanks, I appreciate it. Oh, hold on a second. There was something I wanted to ask you about. What? Did I see Misaka today? Yes, she was actually here with Shirai earlier this afternoon, dropping off one of the money cards. She was? Really? All right, then. I guess I must have been wrong. I probably just mistook someone else for her. No, it's nothing, really. I'll see you later. Hmm. This makes no sense. It looked just like her. What? Misika has a look-alike. Yes, Sutton said she saw her earlier today. Now that you mention it, there were stories about level five clones a long time ago. Seriously? There was some research facility somewhere that used cloning technology to try mass producing level fives. Or so the story goes. Hmm. That does sort of sound like Academy City. 
And like a rumor Satin would sink her teeth into. Absolutely. Coming. Oh, head resident. Nice of you to drop by. I see you're as diligent as ever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, where's Misaka? Can you hear uh me, Kuroko? Where did you put the shampoo? Shampoo? I should get that for her. If you'll please excuse me, head resident. Just a second, sissy, I'm getting it! Jeez, can't you move any faster? Okay, okay. <sighs> Kuroko, my towel is all... Huh? Why are you coming in here? Aren't I a good roommate, sissy? Fooling the head resident because you didn't make it back home before curfew? Imagine what would have happened if I hadn't had my secret sissy voice collection. You would have been in big trouble. It's been a while since you've been late like this. It used to happen a lot more frequently. Where are you? Hey! Hope you don't mind some company. <laughs> Take it nice and easy and nothing has to get violent. Was there something that you needed? It's like this. You know those cards you've been spreading around town? We thought we'd stop by and take all the rest of them from you. Huh. Easy now. It would be a real pain for us if you hit some kind of panic button, so I think we'll just take a look in there ourselves. Hey! On it. <laughs> what the? Looks like she's only got two of them here. What? There's none over here, either. We came all the way out here for two freaking cards, are you kidding? Yeah. I'd rather not raise my hand against a woman, it's really not my style. So why don't you just tell us where they there are? There aren't any more here. Huh? Understand? They've already been distributed. No way! She's lying! And you seem a little too relaxed, considering the situation. What's with you, huh? Hey, you're right. You think she has an ability? <laughs> So what if she does? There aren't many of them that can do anything against a group this big. For now, let's search the place top to bottom. You, keep an eye on her, got it? Yeah, sure. What are you so spooked about? <laughs> spooked? What? I I'm not spooked. Hey, <laughs> shut up and do it already. Any luck over there? Nothing. Damn it, where are they? Shut up and keep looking. Damn. They're here somewhere. I don't know what it is, but something about this chick creeps me out. Uh, that school badge. I've seen it somewhere. <gasps> Nagaton Joki Academy? No way. That's the most elite school in the whole entire city. And that's gotta mean this girl is a high-level ability user. No, hold on, calm down. That place is different than Tokiwadai. They take students who are good at other things besides abilities. So she may not have one after all. Maybe she's just smart. Ah! What are you staring at? Your skin, it looks a little pale. Are you sure you feel okay? But back off. You're breathing hard too, and that's a nasty cold sweat. <clears throat> it looks like you're shaking pretty badly. Hey! Almost like... Ah! How did you know that? <gasps> I just do. Ah! Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> What? What the hell did you do? Man, she's got one. She's got an ability. If she did, wouldn't she have attacked us earlier and been done with it? But she isn't packing. How else could she have taken out our guy? There's a condition to activate it. My ability. It's called critical. It can only be used against those I've come into contact with. It takes one touch. After that, no matter how far you run, no matter where you hide, I can end your life. Yeah, right. It's just another lie. You expect us to believe you? There's no ability like that. Give it up already. <sighs> Whether you believe me or not is totally up to you. There are many variations of the ability that I possess, but they are real enough. I can trace and tamper with others using their AIM diffusion fields. Of course, to level zeros, such as yourselves, that description may not mean very much. Please, that's a bunch of crap and you know it. Hey, what's with you? I... I touched her before. What's gonna happen to me? 
If what she's saying is true, I could be a goner. Don't freak out, you moron. It's like I already said, she's full of it. M maybe, but... It's not gonna do us any good to start fighting each other. Very true. <laughs> fighting amongst friends is never the answer. <laughs> Come on! Hey, what do I do now? Just calm down! Shut up. I can take care of this. Hmm. What? <laughs> what was that? Hey, you guys? <laughs> Damn. What the hell is going on here? You're kidding, right? Oh good, only one more to go. <laughs> Lights off again? I'll get her. I'll get her good. I can hear you! <laughs> Crap! My pipe! Where did it go? Damn! What's she doing to me? What's happening? Turn on the lights! All it takes is one touch. Now my ability has you. Don't worry, it's all right. It will all be over before you can feel any pain. Just like it was when I took care of your friends. Wait, you don't have to! I'll get out of here! I'll leave, I'm sorry! Don't kill me! It's simple, really. All I have to do now is lower my hand. Three, two, one, zero. No! Well, I got a pretty decent pop out of this thing. Hmm. That was an impressive show you put on, special effects and all. The whole time I was waiting to step in if things got ugly. I never expected you to neutralize this many skill outs so easily. And all with just narrative, showmanship, and... What is that? Some kind of anesthetic? So it's you. The original. Original? Sorry? You must at least have heard the rumors, right? What rumors? <sighs> hmm. I have to say I'm surprised. I guess the students at Nagatinjoki like gossip as much as anyone, huh? So, that's all? You've heard some rumors, but do you actually know anything? <laughs> you are still a middle schooler, but I am a high schooler. <laughs> And you will observe my seniority. Basically, watch your tone with me. I... I was just wondering if you had any more substantial information about it. More than you do. Although, from what I can tell, their methods and objectives have changed considerably since I was there. Oh. Knowing more would only hurt you. What's the point when there's nothing you can do about it anyway? I asked you for information, not for protection! What do you mean, I can't do anything? Are you saying there's something that you can do? <laughs> Is there maybe something that you can do? I have taken some action already. <laughs> Distributing those money cards was part of the plan. Mm -hmm. The plan to eliminate this city's blind spots. Placing the money cards all over directs people's attention to the alleys and back streets that the surveillance cameras don't reach. By doing so, I hoped I could put an end to the experiments that have been taking place in the shadows. Of course, I was careless enough to let myself be spotted by those thugs and they followed me back here. If they had seen this, it would have created some serious problems for me. As always, leaving physical evidence isn't smart. I'm not legitimately renting this place either. It would be best if we got out of here before they woke up. 
second. Uh, I mean... Please tell me, what are you even talking about? And who exactly are you? Now you're thinking. As long as I'm destroying physical evidence, shouldn't I get rid of the witnesses too? Whoa, I am not! Come on, we need to get these guys... Not my problem. <laughs> What's going on? Is it a fire? Yeah, a small one. Doesn't look like anyone was hurt, though. Man, who was that psycho? She actually got two good hits on me and said nothing I understood. Why am I taking anything she said seriously? That's it. I'm just wasting my time. I'm going to head home, have a nice shower, and hit the sack. It's ridiculous. I don't care how many people said it, it isn't true. There's just no way. There are no clones of me. Although... As you can see, the model DNA information is absolutely indispensable to cloning technology. <laughs> it's true. I did give someone my DNA map once, but that was a long time ago, and it was for a different reason. I'm sure he put it to good use. Besides, not long afterwards, that hospital was closed down for good, and now... <laughs> she goes to Nagatenjoki Academy. I can hack into the student records. Academy City's public telephone net terminal security is rank D. The data terminals used by school faculty members are rank B. However, if I just use my ability... <laughs> right there! Shinobu Nunotaba, third year of high school, age 17. Has distinguished herself in the field of biological psychiatry from a young age. Worked with Yamashita University Hospital Network and Higuchi Pharmaceuticals. <laughs> Hold on, Yamashita? She was really there then? So she might actually know something. <laughs> and Higuchi Pharmaceuticals collaborating on a project at the 7th Research Center. She later re-enrolled in school. So is that the place where they've got my DNA map? Knowing more would only hurt you. What's the point when there's nothing you can do about it anyway? Asking her for more answers won't do any good. She'll just keep evading the question. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll have to sneak into this place. <laughs> Going in my uniform would be a bad idea. I'll take this along with it, please. Okay. Oh, yes. I can tell these will look adorable on you. Cash or card? Oh, I'll pay with cash. Thanks. Got the clothes, and now I just need to find somewhere I can go to change into them. Unfortunately, all of our single rooms are occupied. We do have some doubles. All right. I'll take one of those, please. This room's kind of a waste just for changing my clothes. Well, here goes. Wow, those are all yours? Pretty impressive, huh? Well, to be honest, Misaka did help me find them. Now, I know there are a lot of people looking for them, but finding this many in a single day has to be a record. When you add them all up, it's quite a tidy sum. Really? Then I wonder if that means I'm rich too. <gasps> you... you found these? All of them? Before term started, I wanted to familiarize myself with the area. I collected these while I was exploring. Hey, I'm home! Sorry I'm so late. Thanks for doing this, Satin. You know how things can be when we've got a new case. Uh, are you okay? I've been beaten. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, I hope you're all hungry because I bought all of us supper! Oh, I'm starving. Mm, it smells delicious! Yeah! It doesn't sound so good to me. I like this stuff as much as the next person, but maybe you could have gotten something cold instead? Really? I actually think it was the perfect choice. 
Hot meals taste even better in hot weather. Mm. It's so good. You've converted her. Wow, these are delicious, Harue. You think so? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. I forgot you've taken up cooking lately, haven't you? Oh, yeah? Uh, well, I'm still learning. Really? As far as I'm concerned, this is just about perfect. Uh, you know my secret? I add a little bit of soy sauce and oyster sauce to the mix. It's absolutely fantastic! <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's exactly what this meal needed. It complements the strawberry sweetness, huh? It sure does! Oh, oh, I just realized I used up the rice. We don't have any for tomorrow. That's okay. I'm sure we can make do without it. Although, it would be nice if we had a larger rice cooker, wouldn't it? You two do eat a lot of the stuff, huh? Do, do we really? <laughs> oh, by the way, Satin. <laughs> I was wondering, what did you mean by what you said on the phone earlier? Huh? About what? Um, the stuff you were saying about Misaka. Something about a mistaken identity? Oh, that. It was no big deal, really. I just thought I saw somebody who looked like her, that's all. Although... Uh. Hmm? Oh, never mind. They say everybody in the world has a look-alike out there somewhere. I probably just thought it was her because she was wearing a Tokiwadai uniform. Now that you mention it, Misaka and Shirai always seem to be wearing their uniforms. Toki would I require students to wear uniforms at all times, even outside of school. That's pretty strict. I can see why you might think that, but those uniforms are constant proof that they are young ladies. I have a hard time imagining Misaka wearing anything but her school uniform. Oh yeah? Okay, but still, it would be nice to see them in street clothes sometimes, you know? Okay, well, all right. <sighs> that was a close one. She seemed bound and determined to find someone to punish tonight. <gasps> Still not back. It's long past curfew now. What are you doing out there? <sighs> oh, sissy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, how improper of me. I should be ashamed of myself. But then, it has been a really long time. <laughs> oh, Sissy! <laughs> what the? What was that? I just got a creepy chill down my spine. <laughs> oh, well. It's gone now. <laughs> Huh? Hey, what's going on with this thing? Just bought it, stupid piece of junk. Okay, <laughs> oh, that did it. Ah, I lost again. <laughs> You get to make the rounds now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't rub it in. I still don't see why we have to do rounds. This place has airtight security. Yeah, yeah. Quit your griping already and get to it. I'm going. Security cameras, infrared sensors, and electronic locks. They've got it all. But since everything depends on electricity, I should be fine. I just have to make sure to keep an eye out for guards and any other late night staff. That doesn't make sense. No departments match what I'm looking for. Wait, there is a section that has power but is disconnected from the network. I was wondering why they only put surveillance cameras in the hallways, but I guess it's because they don't want other departments to know what they're researching. All right, I think I'll start by checking that section. Who's there? <laughs> I, I'm not imagining things, am I? Is someone there? Show yourself. Uh-oh. What do I do? Worst case, I guess I could always shock him unconscious and get myself out. But I'd really rather not leave any trace that I was here. Let me think. Huh? Oh, what's this? A 
A security robot. Of course it is. There's no way anyone could get in here. Anything to report? No abnormalities. All right, good. No, huh? Keep it up. Good enough for me. I'll just skip the rest of the patrol. <sighs> huh? The alarm? How come? Hello? The sensor shouldn't be able to pick me up. Did I miss something? Be calm. Well, what for now at least. <laughs> Whoa, what's wrong with you? Hey, come back! <sighs> what now? Give up for tonight and get out of here? No. It doesn't appear to be me they found, and all this confusion could be my chance. All right, keep going. Hey, what the hell is going on? Sorry, man. I totally forgot what? to tell you. It's too loud! I can't hear you! Just turn it off! <sighs> it finally stopped. Who's there? Huh? All right, let's see what they're hiding. What are those? Incubators? Each big enough to hold a person. Can I help you with something? What are you doing? You aren't lost, are you? How exactly did you get in here? Oh, never mind about her. Huh? I got word that she'd be coming here tonight. She's here to clear her data for that project, you know, that one they've got frozen? The idiot watchman forgot to give her a staff card to get around. You can take care of this, right? Just escort the nice young lady here to the secret base. Oh, so that's what this is about. I see now. Here, you need to put this on. There are traces of quite a few erased files. I should be able to restore them. <laughs> Impossible. Project radio noise. The goal for this project is to resolve the genetic sequence that gives rise to a level 5, allowing a level 5 that is born by chance to then be reproduced with 100% certainty. Further, for this project it has been decided that Railgun, Misaka, will serve as the model. I mean it! There's a story going around about a project designed to clone level 5 experts. Don't act like you don't remember. It was just a little while ago. You were walking in front of 7th Mist. It really exists. A project to... to clone me. To create a new railgun, we take a fertilized egg and use a cell that has been extracted from the original railgun's hair follicle. Prior to this, of course, we obtained the necessary genetic sequence pattern sample. We were then able to successfully register her DNA map in Academy City's data bank. In order to shorten the time required to create a test subject, we determined that it was necessary to curtail the developmental process, both physically and emotionally, to assist with the development of the body, a cocktail of ZID-02, RIZ-13, and HEL-03 was administered. And in roughly 14 days, we had successfully created a subject that was physically identical to Railgun. The development of the mind and persona was dealt with under the direction of external staff member, Nunotaba Shinobu, who used Testament to install necessary basic information within the brain. Once the results were confirmed, everything was in order. Project Radio Noise was set to move on to the next phase, the mass production of Railgun clones. This also is it? known as sisters. This is what they were after? <laughs> it's the simplest thing in the world, and all you have to do is give us your DNA map, okay? Stupid girl. Why did you say yes to him? If only... <sighs> However, as the project reached its final stage, projections were calculated using tree diagram. The results were not what we expected. They used tree diagram? But... That's Academy City's greatest supercomputer. It hovers in orbit above the Earth. Regrettably, the projections reveal that the sisters' specs were less than 1% of the model railguns. On average, their ratings reached only as high as level 2 
and even the most powerful individuals did not exceed level 3. Okay, so, they were only able to make less powerful copies. But even if they mass-produced a lot of level 2s... Regardless of genetic manipulation or acquired development, it was impossible to produce a level 5 from among the clones. Thus, having received Tree Diagram's computed results, and to minimize the losses incurred by this project, the Committee ordered all of the research in progress to be terminated immediately. The project intended to mass-produce Railgun Sisters was halted and is frozen in perpetuity. <laughs> okay. I knew it. Of course there aren't any clones of me out there. I'm guessing. Word of this ridiculous project leaked out somehow and the Academy City rumor mill did the rest. <sighs> Even so, it's a bit freaky. Imagine scientists using my DNA map like that. Well, whatever did happen, at least it's all over. Now, I'm heading home to bed. I wonder if Kuroko managed to trick the head resident and keep me out of trouble. Hey, how much longer is this procedure gonna take? Total deletion will be complete in 42.28 seconds, says Misaka, reporting the time with careful precision. Two weeks, isn't it? Not really. She does have a ZID-02 cocktail to stimulate her growth. You've been through the training, right? You should already be aware of what to expect from the process. Of course, I'm sorry. I know all about it, I do. I just get so excited seeing it in action. Let's get started. Uh, all right, I'll just go get ready. is almost blinding today, isn't it? I know I should be worried about sunburn, but then again, that's what makes it feel like summer, don't you think? Mm. Ooh, look, it's a cicada shell. The sissy I know doesn't like sunburns and cicada shells. It's not quite noon yet. We've still got some time. <laughs> mm. Kuroko! Oh, yes, what is it? What would you like? It's my treat today. What? She always uses kicks on that vending machine, not cash. She's paying for mine, too? Well, I... I guess I'll take an iced coffee. Ah! Uh. 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 I am so sorry. It was an accident. I absolutely did not mean to dive headlong into your breasts. Mm. <laughs> Calm down, I know that. You should be more careful, though. Okay, now what do I get? Something is wrong. What has come over my dear grouchy sissy? <gasps> Could she be an imposter? All right, I think I'll go with the coconut cider. Uh, you are wearing orange underwear today. They are polka dotted with a winking gecko. Ah! Where did that come from? Just checking. It really is you. Look, there they are. Hey, sorry we're late. What are you guys up to? <gasps> Great-looking tantri. So, what do we have on the docket for today? Well, let's see. I wouldn't mind doing some shopping. There are a few things I need for our field trip. Yeah, that's right. It's coming up soon, huh? So where are you all going, Misaka? I'm pretty sure it's called Liberal Arts oh, City. Oh, yeah? The artificial island in California? Uh, mm-hmm. That's the same place we're going. I didn't realize that. How great! We're all in the same group. The five of us can hang out the whole time. We can eat together and go shopping. Oh, and then there's the beach, too. Wow, I'm starting to get excited. Now I have an excuse to get a new swimsuit. Though maybe I should wait on that. 
There are a lot of other things I need to buy first. This would be a great time to have a big stack of money cards. You can't be serious! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I was only kidding. Anyway, what's been going on with that case lately? There have been no new developments in a while, but it hasn't been open too long. I see. You're obsessing about it, aren't you? Hmm. Well, I am kind of hooked on it, yeah. It's like I can sense something bigger lurking in the shadows behind it. So are you basing that on anything? Just my sharp instincts as an urban legend hunter. Oh, you're starting with that again. Again? What do you mean hmm. again? Please, give Is me an example. Is something bad going on? No, don't worry. Sutton just has an overactive imagination. Wh Uiharu! I think that's about enough of that conversation. Huh? Come on, let's go shopping. The daylight isn't going to last forever. Huh? Hey, wait for us! There, I'm all set now. That's all you're getting? Yeah, there was only one thing I needed to get a little bit more of. What about the rest of you guys? Oh, well... A rice cooker? Yes. Ever since we became roommates, we've started cooking at home a whole lot more. But, uh, you already have one, right? Yeah, we do, but we want another. Oh, I remember. Yesterday you said it was too small. Uh-huh. Sorry I eat so much. Oh, I'm not blaming you at all, Haraway. Mm. You've seen how much I eat. Yeah, really. Uiharu can be a serious glutton. Excuse me! <gasps> what do you think of this one? Now that's an amazing machine. It sure is, huh? Although, it's not really in our budget. Price just a bit. You know how it is, don't you? I suppose I do. Sissy haggling? <laughs> really? Wow, we ended up with a really nice one. I know! I had no idea Misako was such an expert at bargaining. Just think of all the amazing things we'll be able to cook at home now! Practically wow. before they should. There sure are a lot of them. Tons and tons. This place has such a wide variety of stuff. Uh. <gasps> oh, look at this! <gasps> These would be too cute! How could I ever eat them? Uh. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I can totally eat cute cookies. <laughs> What you think? Right. Are any of these swimsuits the kind of thing you're looking for? <laughs> I don't know. There are so many different styles to choose from. I've never picked out a swimsuit for myself before, so it's difficult. Why don't you let me give you a hand, then? Are you ready? Well... It's just... It looks like it was made for a little girl. You think? Huh? Uh, I think we're still having the same problem here. Okay. If you say so. Misik is bouncing off the walls today. What's gotten into her? Yeah, I noticed that too. Do you know what's going on, Kuroko? This hmm. one? We really lucked out with the rice cooker, didn't we, Haraway? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, I just realized where we are. This is where I saw you, Misika. Oh, you mean Misika's lookalike or whatever? Are you still going on about that? I'm serious, she was almost identical. I wonder. That's it, I know. What if she's actually your long-lost twin? Uh, huh? uh. Oh, yeah! Speaking of lookalikes, I heard the craziest rumor from Connery earlier. Something about using cloning technology to mass-produce level five. Uh, I mean... Um... <sighs> cloning, huh? As far as Academy City rumors go, that one is right up there. Let's see, if I had a clone, what would I do? How about you, Satin? Uh -huh. If I had a clone? Well, let me see. First of all, I'd have her take care of all my summer hmm. homework. I would leave mine in our room. Then I could break curfew without getting in trouble. With my own clone, I could eat enough for two people. That's an awesome idea! If you couldn't choose what to eat at a restaurant, you could order two dishes! What if you have it oh. backwards and each of you could only eat half a serving? Oh. <gasps> She has a point. Yeah, what a shame. <laughs> it's your turn to answer now, sissy. What would you do if there was a clone of you wandering around the city? Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, incredible. She looks like a real person. Well, sure she does. 
She's a clone. That is sort of the point. <laughs> As you can see, her mental age is approximately still that of a newborn. She can't understand language or walk on her own. She can't do much of anything, really. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Well, I was worried she might catch a cold if she's all wet. You can do things like that for now, but soon you won't have the time to. Word is we're creating the rest in one batch. Uh. Language, motor skills, and ethical data are input like this using Testament. This system transmits the data electrically via all five senses, forcibly writing the information into her brain. Well, keeping up so far? Yeah, I was thinking about what you said. Which part? Isn't the process a bit inefficient? Without repeated conditioning, the data input isn't going to take very well. Shouldn't they make them in series according to usage? The higher-ups have their own reasons for doing things. They give us orders. We accept them and do what we are told. the day's over already. At this rate, summer vacation will be over before we know it. It's getting close to festival time, huh? Oh, yeah. It is that time of year. Doesn't really feel like it here in the city, though. Barely anybody goes back home for it. That's okay. It means we get more time to spend together. Yeah, you're right. Let's enjoy ourselves instead of counting the days. <laughs> There's plenty of summer left. Breakfast? At this hour? Well, isn't someone living the good life? And why not? It's not like I have anything else to do today. What are Shirai and the others up to? Everyone's got something. Ui, Haru, and Kuroko both have a judgment function. Satin and Haruwe already had plans, too. With this much free time on your hands, life must be seeming pretty empty and isolated, huh? Who asked for your opinion? <laughs> Doesn't matter to me. Just hurry up and eat, okay? Otherwise, I'll never have time to get everything straightened up. Jeez, I can't even enjoy a leisurely meal now? Do you seriously not have anything better to do? I'm sure I can find something. Uh, hey, how come... Uh, uh, it sucks when you're all ready to read your favorite magazine and then you realize it's the same double issue from the week before. Uh, I'm so bored. Really? Uh, 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 uh what's up? Uh, you're that same girl, right? We helped you find your bag. Since you don't have anything else to do, I think you should come and play with us. Uh, sorry, I'm actually kind of busy. You fibber. See? I just heard you say you're bored. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> What can I say to that? All right, big sister will play with you. Hooray! <laughs> Our big sister, huh? She's at that age. They like to start thinking yeah. that they're grown-ups. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait up! No way! Ah! Rats! She did it to us again! Hurry and get away! It's not fair when you kick it so far! Do you always have to try so hard against little kids? Sorry. But you wouldn't want me to go around acting like I'm a grown-up, would you? You're a big jerk! A stupid dumb I'm head! Never, you're you're ugly and you smell funny! <laughs> what did you call me, you little brat? <laughs> <laughs> How does that bratty, smart-talking mouth of yours like this, huh? Part of that, you big story freak! Someday I'll become a level five and then I'm gonna get you back for this! I'll take you on anytime you want, short stuff. Big sis! Ability. You're a big shot electrical user, aren't you? Uh, I guess. Oh, really? That's Nao's ability, too. Uh, is that right? But look. <laughs> no matter how hard I try, that's all I can do. That's the same for everyone at the beginning. Keep practicing, and you'll be able to do lots of things. What kind of things? Like, will Nao be able to cell phone with you? Cell phone? You know, use electricity to talk. Oh, no, sorry. I can't even tell where someone is using my ability, much less talk to them. Not even a little? Hmm. It 
there was no interference at all, like if we were out at sea, it might be possible. But here in the city, where EM waves are flying around all over, there's just too much noise for that. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, okay. Although, there go? was the case of the level uppers. I know. As long as the brainwaves' waveforms were close, they might be able to construct a network. Okay, you're it. <laughs> like that'll ever happen. Good morning. Do you know what that means? A routine beginning of daily conversation, otherwise known as a greeting, affirms Misaka swiftly. Your specimen number? Specimen number 9982. It appears that you're plugged into the Misaka net, all right. Here you go. You can start by putting this on. Uh, I'm sorry. All this shameless nudity is kind of making me uncomfortable. Really? Couldn't we add maybe a touch of modesty when it comes to displaying the body? If we add any unnecessary emotions and then they rebel, that would be problematic. Uh, the safety devices aren't exactly perfect. Oh, is that right? It's true. Besides, we couldn't do it. You and I don't have the necessary skills. That machine over there? It was overseen by Nuno something or other, the girl genius. And even she just barely got it functioning. Oh. Children sure have a lot of energy. Too, and it's really warm out here. <laughs> Young lady, this is very important. From whom did you get that button? Huh? I got it from the vending machines in the shopping district. It's the type where you have to turn the knob to drop the capsule. With something this low tech, my ability is not going to be of any use at all. Well, here goes. Look at that. There's a girl from Tokyo who die at the toy machine. <laughs> I see her. I'm sure she's buying them for this the This is children. ridiculous. Not a single one. Yo, kid, go get me changed. Huh? Why should I get you go? Did you see your eyes? Just do it, man. Okay, good call. <sighs> wow, there weren't any in there, huh? Well, um, if you want to, I can trade I you. I forgot! <gasps> there are more in front of the train station! <gasps> Now that I've finally gotten it, what am I going to do with it? Collector's fever, that unfortunate condition that drives sufferers to obtain every product even remotely related to the subject of their obsession, regardless of the consequences. Even I know that wearing it on my shirt like this little girl would be pathetic and embarrassing. Really, I can just imagine the pitiful look Kuroko will give me when she sees this. <sighs> Another one, sissy? Yeah, but if I put it on a bag, that might be just barely oh, no, cool, I didn't right? Know how late it was. Uh, we have to go home or we'll get in trouble. Well, there went my entire day. Hey, if you're at the pool and you go oh. underwater, how long we can play you hold for your hours breath? and hours? I don't know. Just I because do you're on vacation minute. doesn't mean you can do nothing but play games. Really you have to do your summer play. homework, too. just fine. Come on, let's go. Goodbye, big sister. Thanks for playing today. Anytime. And you'll be careful going home, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. Now what was that before? A power very similar to mine. No. 
It felt like my own power was washing over me from the outside in. It's not possible. There's no way. Except... Except... about right one last thing <laughs> muscle strength stamina and cardiovascular endurance all check out you still need to pass your interpersonal response test after that you can move on to external training Misaka has already mastered every possible situation. From ordering a hamburger to spotting a con artist, she is confident that she can blend in with people in the outside world. Therefore, she has some doubts as to the necessity of such a test. You're not prepared for everything. There are times on the outside when what you learned using Testament will not work. Maybe if you were to run into the original, for example. Though that's not likely. Well, even if that does happen, it shouldn't interfere with the experiment. What is the original? Misaka asks. Good question. She's the model for the sisters. I guess you could say she's sort of like your older sister. Older sister? <laughs> Around here. This is where it came from. Yeah. So, what does that mean? Is it her name? The organization she's with? Or did I mishear what she said? Maybe it was a different language? Yeah, says the furry, four-legged creature caught up in a tree. Hmm? <coughs> a cat? A little earlier today, I was passing through this area. As I did, I noticed a baby who was left alone inside a car that was parked on the street. The baby could have suffered a heat stroke. So Misaka used her electrical power to unlock the door and open the window, but... <laughs> the poor creature was startled and fled up the tree. He was then unable to climb back down. You see? Asks Misaka, having fully explained the situation. Ah. Uh, wait, that's not what I was talking about! I want to know what the deal is with you, not the cat! Look at him. Uh his situation becomes more precarious. Shouldn't we see if we can help him get down? Ask He's a cat! Being up in a tree isn't a big deal to him, okay? So why don't you just tell me oh, what you- I see. So, big sister, you do not care if this creature slips from the branch, falls out of the tree, and is violently smashed on the ground? Uh if, as a result, his internal organs are seriously injured, and he is unable to survive on his own, that does not concern you? Ugh. Okay, you win. What do you want me to do? You could get on your hands and knees in front of the tree. Then I should be able to reach it, right? Misaka seeks confirmation. Well, I'm not really seeing anything else around here that could give us enough of a boost. Wait, why am I on the bottom? Could you move a little further to the left, big sister? You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. I have managed to safely secure the creature. See? Ah! Hey, come on, you can't just go around holding up your skirt like that. You're supposed to be a young lady. You need to behave if you're gonna go around looking like me. Oh. Oh, just look at this sweet guy. He's a cute little kitty kitty, huh? Kitty kitty? Yeah, he's a cat's kid, a kitty kitty. It's too bad cats are always spooked by me. They aren't crazy about the slight electrical field my body constantly produces. Huh. The 
same is true for Misaka, it seems. Hey, you keep distracting me and dodging my question! You've been referring to yourself as Misaka. So are you... are you my... my... are you my clone? Yes. Okay. But I thought that project was supposed to have been frozen for good. In which case, why does someone like you even exist? ZXC741ASD852QWE963- Well, Misaka seeks password confirmation. What? Your inability to respond means that you are not involved in the experiment. So I cannot answer your question, big sister. Well, then you can at least tell me who is in charge of this project. That is confidential. <clears throat> what is the purpose of your creation? That is confidential, too. <clears throat> you want to get hurt, is that it? If I have to force it out of you. <clears throat> okay, fine. Get going. All I have to do is follow where you lead. You must be heading back to whatever laboratory is responsible for creating you. When I get there, I'll start by collecting your manufacturers. They can give me the answers I want. Sisters. If she wasn't right here, I don't know if I would believe it. No, I guess that's not true. For a while now, I've been frightened that exactly this sort of thing was going to happen. That someone who looked just like me would show up. Although, I didn't expect something like this. I thought it would be more sinister and sophisticated. Like some sort of black op where they plot to put someone to death and then replace them with an identical twin who's been subverted by the enemy. But this has me completely thrown off. <sighs> uh. Wait, sister... -z? Hey, hold on. I just need to know one thing. Okay, this might sound crazy, but am I gonna find another five or ten others like you somewhere out there? <laughs> Kitty, kitty. If you say it backwards, it still sounds almost exactly the same. <laughs> Stop trying to avoid the subject! <laughs> kitty, kitty. Quit saying that! I asked you a question! Kitty, kitty. Oh, come on! Hey! What's going on? Huh? It's a shame to see sisters fighting like that. She is not my sister. Hey! That's the kind of thing you should never say, especially if you're angry. Wait one sec. Hmm? Here you go. Um... These are my best cones. You two eat them and stop fighting. Uh, that's nice of you, but I don't think ice cream is exactly what we need here. <laughs> A rich and refreshing sweetness without an overbearing aftertaste. Clearly, quality milk was used, and this kind of texture cannot be achieved without well-ground sugar. Furthermore, the cone is flavorful enough to be a cookie in its own right. Excellent job. Reports Misaka offering her sincerest praise. <laughs> well, thank you. Now, when a couple breaks up, they can just go back to being strangers. But sisters share their blood for life. If I don't start charging for the ice cream, my old lady might become a stranger again. Uh, that sounds personal. <laughs> anyway, you sisters be good! I told you, we're not sisters! No, looking at us, what else is he going to think? No, sir, our genes are totally identical, but we're not sisters, I promise. Hmm? Huh? Hey, you! Is something the matter? Asks Misaka, playing innocent while enjoying the mint chocolate chip aftertaste secretly. My clone, huh? If that's really the case, how can you be such a gluttonous Eating pig? ice cream has made me a bit chilly. I think I would like some hot tea now, says Misaka, ignoring Big Sister's bad attitude. Huh? I may not look it, but I am pretty particular about my tea, reports Misaka, considerately offering up a disclaimer. 
If it helps, I will be ordering milk tea, says Misaka in an effort to streamline the process. Stop screwing with me! That milk tea was more than satisfactory, as was the strawberry shortcake on the side, remarks Misaka, offering her candid opinion. So, when are you going back to wherever you belong? I forgot to mention this, but Misaka is now headed for her experiment, so she will not be returning. Huh? You are free to follow me, big sister, if that is what you wish to do. But you will not see Misaka's creator. But why didn't you tell me? I didn't say because you didn't ask. <laughs> so what now? Would it be quicker to decode her password and search for more information that way? I do have my PDA with me. <laughs> what is that object? This? It's a prize I got from a vending machine, that's all. What are you doing? Just hold still a sec, will you? There. This should give me a much clearer picture than looking in a mirror would. Seeing it like this, it's not so bad, really. No, it's worse than bad, Misaka says, shocked and appalled by her model's absolute lack of fashion sense. Uh, excuse me? Well, obviously, I was just kidding around. You Come know on. it's bad if your own clone shoots Did you down. Did you actually think I was serious? What is with you? The moment you put it on Misaka, ownership of this button transferred to her, Misaka calmly asserts. If Big Sister attempts to take it back, she is guilty of robbery. Please, that's ridiculous! No, it is a true statement. Besides, adds Misaka, this holds special importance as the first present given to me by Big Sister. Though one would think she could have found something better to give me than this, would that really have been so much trouble? Asks Misaka with a sigh. All right, you give that back to me right now! Calm down. You're letting her distract you again. At this rate, I'm not going to get anywhere. I should just check the net. <sighs> okay, fine. It's getting late. I'm gonna call it quits for today. Uh, unless there was something else? No. That's all there is. Farewell, big sister. Yeah, okay. I'll be seeing ya. Jeez, she sure was strange. I'm not even sure what to make of the day I just had. Helping a stranded cat, eating ice cream cones, fighting over a button. It's almost like we were... <laughs> first things first, I need to find her creator. to give you a hand with your homework, it's no problem at all. Huh. The judgment recruiting drive took up more time than I thought it would. I'd be totally lost without your help. There we go. Is this all of it? Is that you, Misaka? Hey, Uiharu, I'm really sorry for calling you so late. I'm just gonna get straight to the point, okay? Write this down. CXC741, ASD852, QWE963, dash. Do you know what that means? <sighs> Let me think a sec. Where have I seen this? <gasps> oh yeah, I've got it! This code looks like a password attached to information that's security rank A or higher. I've actually tried to crack something like this before myself. Hey, thanks. You're a huge help. Huh? Uh, hold on! Misaka! What's wrong? Is something the matter? Well, uh, I'm not sure. The current time is 2058, Misaka reports. Experiment number 9982 will begin shortly. Countdown, two minutes. What the hell? This is... It 
is now 2100 hours, states Misaka. It is time to begin. Experiment number 9982 will commence immediately. <sighs> How to shift an absolute esper to level six through the use of sisters. In Academy City, there are seven people who are ranked as level fives. However, based upon the predictive calculations made by Tree Diagram, it has been established that only one person has the ability to reach status level six. If the subject in question were to be put through normal Academy City <laughs> curriculum, he would not reach level six for a long time an estimated 250 years. Thus, we have set aside this plan for now and are instead pursuing what some would consider a more radical course of action. We will prepare a number of specific battlefields and will manipulate the direction of his development by preceding him through a course of combat scenarios. The optimal plan would involve creating 128 different battlefields. The subject would then kill Rilke on 128 times. After that number of victories, he would advance to level six. However, since it is impossible to secure multiple railguns, a different plan has been developed. created during the now frozen Project Radio Noise will be repurposed. They will serve as railgun substitutes. What's the matter? Turning tail already? <laughs> A large number of armed sisters will be required as their quantity must substitute for the original's quality. of a practical joke. It talks about killing me and using these sister clones as proxies. There's no way a project like this could actually go through. <laughs> That's all there is. Farewell, big sister. <laughs> Run away, run away. The longer you run, the more time you have before you die. After all, this is a life or death game of tag we're playing here. Because once I catch up to you, it's the end, game over. Too slow. You should really be more careful. You don't have time to waste with falling down. <laughs> no. What's wrong? You're not broken already, are you? That's no fun. I don't see how I'm gonna make it to level six if this is all I have to work with. Huh? Oh? Very nice. You're a tough one, aren't you? That's the attitude we're looking for! <sighs> I was right. No way did a project so insane actually exi- Lying down on the job like that? Finally running out of steam, are you? Need a rest? Or are you ready to give in and declare defeat? Isika does not have an accurate grasp of the target's ability. However, judging from experimental results up to now, Nisika has come to the conclusion that the target projects some kind of barrier around himself. Furthermore, seeing as how he steps on the ground when he walks, Misaka believes 
that his ability does not extend downward, or at least not beyond the soles of his feet. Therefore, Mizuka determined a surprise attack from that direction would prove to be the most effective. Hey, what are you mumbling about over there? If you won't run, I'll finish you off. I'm not running anymore. As per my plan, I have succeeded in leading you to the desired location. Now, there is only one more thing left to do. complete. The target has been neutralized. Oh. Hi. It was a nice idea, but so incredibly far off the mark! Oh, now we can't play tag anymore, huh? You'll croak on your own if I just leave you there. But standing around waiting really isn't my thing. <laughs> well, still trying to run away, huh? That way is a dead end, though. Do you have some other pathetic, useless trick hidden up your sleeve, maybe? <laughs> We've played for long enough now. I think it's time to say goodbye. Oh no! No, it can't be. Today's experiment. I made quite a mess this time. I wonder how long it'll take them to clean it up. Ah, uh, who cares? I should stop by the store on my way home. Picked up a new technique, huh? <laughs> ah, controlling the iron sand using magnetism. I have to admit, it's an interesting idea. But unfortunately, once you know how it's done, it's no big deal anymore. I threw it all at him, and he doesn't even have a scratch? What the...? That's a lot of power. Are you...? That's... impossible. How can I not know about an Esper who can shrug off my attacks like that? <laughs> oh, I understand now. I was wondering what this was since it wasn't on the schedule. You... You're the original. 
The clones are supposed to take the original's place, but if I fight you, that would considerably reduce the number of lame combat scenarios I have to go through, right? I'm really starting to get tired of doing this. What do you say, original? Tell me why! Why are you going along with this project? Uh, can we just fight? Answer me! You've got some serious power! There's no way that they could force you to do anything! So what's your reason for participating in this insanity? What could she have done to deserve this? Reason? What's my reason? That's easy. <sighs> my goal is to acquire absolute power. Not the power of a level 5, or Academy City's top dog. Nothing that insignificant. I'm talking about the kind of power that will stop people from even thinking about challenging me. I want invincibility. You get that, right? Being a level 5? You're nuts, aren't you? So, you want to be invincible? Is that your excuse? Seriously? Power's not enough. You need absolute power? <laughs> That's the reason you're giving me? The reason you agreed to kill her? You make it sound so dirty. Stop talking like I'm a murderer. I'm fighting things, not real people. They're manufactured with the push of a button. Huh? What are you so worked up about? Oh, I get it now. I stole your thunder, huh? That move was your ace in the hole, and I just annihilated it. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, I knew you were ranked lower than me, but I still thought you'd have more to bring to the table than a little electricity. <laughs> All right. Now it's my turn to play. You're in pretty rough shape, though, so I'm not expecting too much. But at least try to keep me entertained, okay? Third string. One moment, please. <laughs> Combat outside of the project may introduce errors into the computational predictions. So, says Misaka, this should stop now. <laughs> Especially since Big Sister is a level 5, the skew from such combat would be considerable. Rather than shortening the scheduled time, the very project itself would be at risk of being ruined. Further, Misaka has, in anticipation of experiments yet to come, received specific programming, and any alterations to the project would be very difficult, explains Misaka simply. Yeah, yeah, all right, I get it. I was just messing around anyway. And stop talking like that, it's creepy. My bad. I guess I never introduced myself, did I? Not satisfied with being the strongest. You probably figured it out by now, but I'm the one looking after your clones. They're helping me achieve invincibility. A level five who wants to become something even greater. There's no doubt. This boy is... I should be grateful to you, really. The controller of Vectors. The first rank Esper in Academy City. Hello there, I'm Accelerator. It's a pleasure. Numbers 9995 through 10007 clear the rails. 10008. What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. It's so screwed up. Why are you going along with this project? You're going to be killed. I don't get it. Why would you do this? Why? You're breathing, aren't you? You have life, don't you? Isn't that enough? <laughs> Who are you? Just who the hell are you? What, not who. Misaka is a product created for this project. Artificial bodies with artificial minds. 
laboratory animals with the unit price of 180,000. <laughs> Goodbye then, big sister. Y yeah, that's why I called. She hasn't come back to the dorm yet. So I thought to myself, maybe she's at Sauten's, is she? She hasn't stopped by here at all. Have you tried Uiharu? Maybe she's there. I heard from Uiharu earlier. Hmm? Uh, I mean, yes, of course. If she isn't at your place or here, then... Listen, Shirai, I'm just gonna throw this out there. She could have a boyfriend. No, she couldn't! There's absolutely no way! I'm disappointed in you, Sodden. Sissy would never do anything so improper. <laughs> she belongs to me! To me alone, do you... Hey, I was only kidding! Calm down! Hello? Are you still there? Jeez, I wonder what that was about. It's the simplest thing in the world, and all you have to do is give us your DNA map, okay? Don't do it! They're not going to use your DNA map to cure muscular dystrophy! They're going to use it to make clones of you! It'll be the basis for a horrible experiment! Say no! <laughs> No, wait! Listen to me! Please, just listen! So that's it. You were the cause of all this, big sister. The reason Nisaka was made. The reason Nisaka is killed. All of it. Everything. I thought I spotted a delinquent camping out all night on this bench. I know why you're here. You found out about the project, didn't you? There's no way you can put a stop to it. That's why I told you not to get involved. No, you didn't. Oh dear. Is that right, my mistake? It's wrong. How can they get away with this? I don't know anything about level six or whatever, but is it something they want so badly they'll kill so many? Everyone involved with this experiment must be completely insane. It's not quite like that. I won't deny that there's something crazy about it all, but if we're talking about right and wrong, that's another matter. Suppose there was a way to develop a miracle drug that could cure cancer, but doing so would require experimental data from 20,000 guinea pigs. What would you do? You would say we have no other choice. That's different, though. Is it? They're both alive. And from a researcher's perspective, they are essentially the same thing. The sisters are artificially produced guinea pigs, made for the sake of reaching level six. Of course, there are those who are in it for their own personal gain. And there are a few of them who really do have a screw loose. But across the board, none of them recognize this as being murder. And neither, in fact, did I. Wasn't that the reason you were spreading those money cards around the city? To interfere with the experiments? That's correct. But why? They're not even human. Why would you want to protect them? Why? As you know, Project Radio Noise was designed in order to mass produce level 5 espers. When it was frozen, I left the project team. But then... When the sisters were taken over by Project Level 6 Shift, I was called in once again. We started some in-house experiments and found there were no particular problems with their individual minds. The Misaka net is in good shape. It looks problem-free. Hmm. Uh. Want some? I'd prefer that to having you stare at me. What is this? A cup of tea. It should be included in the data input by testament. Misaka's first cup of tea. It is somewhat different than the information in the testament data, Misaka says curiously. In addition to the flavor of the tea leaves, there is a subtle sweetness and fullness. Oh, well, that would be because it's milk tea. Basically, tea with milk added to it. It's my favorite. Milk tea. Hmm. It's been a long time since we've met like this. 
Even so, you really haven't changed much. You're just like the first you. 8,911 units have been consumed so far in in-house experiments. In that time, your emotional aspects haven't developed at all. However, your memories and experiences in pure data form have all been gathered together and shared, which is done via the Misaka network. And that means the next unit will know the flavor of milk tea. It's truly a fantastic system, the Misaka network. Testament plays a very significant role as well, right? Misaka asks to clarify. It is through Testament that the Misakas are programmed. That's how they learn to conceptualize feelings and remember them as data. As a result of this process, the Misakas are readily able to face the experiments, says Misaka, expressing gratitude. It's time now. You're heading out for external training. Do you have anything to ask before you go? What is the air outside like? Is it sweet or perhaps spicy? Hmm? I was told the air outside is delicious, so I'm curious. Misaka has a preference for things that are sweet, you see, explains Misaka, shyly revealing her tastes. Well, you'll find out for yourself soon enough. from the sun is pretty strong today. <laughs> pretty disappointing, isn't it? No, not disappointing at all. Hmm? A number of aromas are stimulating my nasal cavities and slowly filling up my chest. An irregular breeze blows through my hair, sweeping past my body like a gentle touch. Light rays from the sun beam down on my skin and I can feel my cheeks taking in their heat. The outside world, it really is a dazzling place, isn't it? I hate to sound trite, but it was that simple. Something changed in that moment. From then on, I could no longer think of them as products because she seemed so much more human than me. She saw the beauty in the world and I could only ever see it as a warped, ugly thing. What about you? What do you think of them? I'm not sure. It's difficult to think of clones as human. And why should I help them when they seem so ready to accept their own deaths? <laughs> However, there are still the people who took my DNA map and used it for their sick experiment them I intend to deal with. Yeah, that's what happened. She called me up out of the blue, asked me about some kind of code, and then just... Wait a minute. You don't know what's going on either? Where are you, sissy? <gasps> Finally! Where have you been? You could have at least called me. <gasps> Your clothes are all torn up. What happened to you? Oh... Well, you know, same thing as usual. I'm gonna go take a shower. Uh, um, hold on a second! <laughs> Hello? Uh, Uiharu? Oh, yes, just now. Oh, uh, I mean late last night. That's right, there's nothing to worry about. Please pass the message on to Harue. Okay, bye. Hello? Oh, Satin. Yes, late last night. I told you you had it wrong, did I not? Yes, it's all fine. There's no need to worry about anything. Right. <laughs> Listen, Kuroko. Do you have a minute? I'm so sorry I had all of you worried. This is my way of apologizing. It's my treat, so go ahead, enjoy. <gasps> this is incredible. So spill, Misaka. Where were you? What were you up to? I wanted to do some stargazing. Uh -huh. Um, stargazing? stargazing? Yep, that's right. Well, you know, like every now and again when you get into a schmaltzy kind of mood and you just want to sit on the swings in the park, swaying back and forth, humming cheesy songs to yourself and staring at the stars. You get it. No, I don't. 
I don't even know what schmaltzy means. Uh, oh, you don't, huh? Well, it's just how I was feeling last night. I meant to ask, did you ever figure out what that code was for yesterday? What do you mean? Oh, it was just... Uh, 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 the code! Well, that was... It was... <laughs> what is it, sissy? Are you okay? Please, Misaka, is something wrong? I can see you. All of you. I can see you there beside me. But I can't... I can't... What are you saying? The arcade! <gasps> Let's go to the arcade, Misaka. It's been a long time, and I want to take on the punching machine again. Great idea! The arcade! <gasps> In that case, I want to do one of these again. Oh, yeah, I remember. We'll do that, too! Let's go, let's go. We need to clear our heads. You guys... Just one thing. I want you to remember this, Misaka. No matter what, we're always here for you. If your burden is ever too heavy, just say the word, okay? Yes. I can see now. I'm taking you down. Just wait. All the more reason. However, there are still the people who took my DNA map and used it for their sick experiment. Them I intend to deal with. Well, aren't you a defiant one? It isn't just one facility. There are more than 20. Are you planning to do this alone? Yes, I am. No one else needs to get involved. I'm the one who made this mess. I will be the one to clean it up. <laughs> 